G'day guys, welcome back to the shed. On today's episode, we're gonna unbox the nitrous oxide kit for my Harley. Check this out. Okay, so for those of you who watched the I Need More Power video all the way to the end, you'll know what I'm talking about. But, it appears that not everyone did watch it all the way to the end. So, this is it. Yes, I am putting nitrous on my Harley. So, some people have called me a wanker already. But, oh well, what do you do? So, let's get it all out on the bar and we'll have a look at it. All right, so this is what you get in the kit. So this kit I bought off eBay, guys. I'll show you a photo here of the kit and what it looks like. Basically, it's the single bottle kit. Um, I went that way because I have the DK Customs remote oil filter hanging off the uh, frame, so I can't fit two, which sucks because it would look pretty cool with two of these bad boys on there. But, oh well, what do you do? Alright, so with the kit you get three different sets of jets, so to put more or less nitrous into the system. So basically, how I'm going to start off is with the smallest setting, which is a 30 horsepower shot. So, I don't want to blow Donner up, so I think that's fair enough. Start small. Can't say I'm not going to go more later on, but you know, we'll see what happens. But basically, I have no idea how nitrous oxide works. I just thought it was pretty cool. And I don't know anyone else that's got nitrous on their Harley, so... Hence why I'm doing it. So the kit's from a company called Dino Tune. Do a close-up of that. But pretty cool sticker as well. So this is all the stuff you get in the kit guys, so I'm guessing these tiny little things here are the jets. Get a nice braided line, some clear tubing, wiring harness, solenoid. Now the switch, they say you can um, wire it through the horn button, but I'm thinking more along the lines of, if you know the movie Gone in 60 Seconds, I want the little rocket launcher cover and like a button that says go baby go i reckon that would be pretty sweet so me not knowing anything about this sort of stuff i'm gonna get dan the harley man at sun city harley to to hook me up with this and um yeah see how we go there's another set of jets there and a tool of some description i just really like you know different shit, you know so my Dyna doesn't look like anyone else's wide glide. Like, I've never seen a bike that looks like mine. If you're not familiar, this is a photo of the baby. So that's Donna the Dyna. Don't ask me how we got to that. It's a long story. You know you're under a good thing when it comes with a warning label, guys. That is a good sign. Now I'm tipping, I'll probably just put this sticker no, I won't. It's too big. I'll probably just chuck it on the front of the bar. But, um, we'll have a little read over this stuff. So this is a Harley and Victory single bottle EFI motorcycle application kit. So, warnings everywhere. So that's awesome. As it's defined, this manual presents step-by-step -step instructions, blah, 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 blah. Warning, failure to comply, may result in injury or death. So, oh well, you gotta do it for the views. We'll just have a quick flick through this and see if there's anything good. There's a lot more warnings. Do not attempt to start engine if nitrous has been injected while the engine is not running. Yeah, righty eh? No worries. Don't drop the bottle, may result in explosive bottle failure. That sounds pretty good. All right, story time. What is nitrous oxide? Nitrous oxide is a cryogenic gas composed of nitrogen and oxygen molecules. It is 30% oxygen by weight. It is not flammable by itself. 
It is stored as a compressed liquid, exists in two grades, USP and Nitrous Plus. USP is medical grade nitrous oxide. Its common use is in dental and veterinary anesthesia. It is commonly used as a propellant in canned whipped cream. There you go. USP is not available to the public. Nitrous Plus differs from USP in that it contains trace amounts of sulfur dioxide added to prevent substance abuse. Nitrous Plus is intended for automotive applications and is available for sale to the public. Good stuff. In bike applications, nitrous is injected into the engine's intake manifold, which produces the following results. A lot of fucking hell yeahs, I'm guessing. Lowers engine intake air temperature, producing a dense inlet charge. Increases the oxygen content of the inlet charge. Air is only 22% oxygen by weight. Increases the rate at which combustion occurs in the engine cylinders. Fuels electronics into adding additional fuel to make more power. And that's what we're all about. Drop mic. Mic drop. Whatever. You can tell I'm not a gangster, eh? Accurate calibration, blah, 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 blah. Yep, who cares? Little wiring diagram, I'm sure you just don't really give a shit about that. Who cares? Let's chuck the bottle on the bike and have a look at it. So my original plan was to mount it along here on the actual frame, but it would fit, but the clamp that it comes with is too small to go around that, so that sucks. So we gotta go off the crash bar. So basically, because the oil filter is there, we're pretty much gonna have to mount it this way. So it's gonna sort of look like that. Can you see that? I'll move the camera. So basically we're gonna have to mount it here on the crash bar. So the bottle's gonna mount somewhere around here. So we'll chuck the bracket on, put the bottle in and um, see how it looks. So that's pretty much what it's going to look like, guys. So, not bad positioning. I still sort of think it would have looked better down off the frame, but what do you do? So what do you reckon? Pretty cool or what? Or am I an idiot? Am I going to regret this? Maybe. You never know. But she's dirty. Does need a bath. So basically, we're going to gain a, another 30 horsepower, in theory, according to the paperwork. So this baby's already got a tire shredder kit in it, which used to be called Stage 5. I know now it only goes to Stage 4, so call it Stage 4 if you want. But yes 110 cubic inch it's got everything done cnc ported heads got the big fancy throttle body high flow oil pump ra 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 nitrous that's a whole lot of fuck yeah so i'm pretty pumped to see how it all works out I don't really have any idea what's going to happen my only hope is that we don't blow it up on the dyno but um, if we do, it'll make for a good video, I suppose. But mm. So yeah, basically that's it for the video, guys. I just wanted to show you the nitrous kit. I know a lot of you have been asking questions about it. I've been trying to answer everyone who commented on the I Need More Power video. I'm actually curious if anyone else has ever done this before. So if you're watching this video, guys, and you've got nitrous on your bike or have previously or mate, someone you know, next door neighbor's 
cat's owner's girlfriend's brother. Let me know in the comments. Keen to see um, if it's a good idea or not, but too late now, I'm doing it anyway. But I hope you guys like the video. I know it's not a long one, but just want to show you what I'm doing. You know, show off the new toy sort of thing. So anyway, give the video a big thumbs up. If you liked it, if you didn't, you should still give it a thumbs up. And uh, don't forget to headbutt that subscribe button. And I'll catch you next week. Exactly the same time. Same place. Same bat channel. Fucking rah rah rah. Anyway. Toodaloo. See you later. Ta-da. Bye-bye. Love ya. Oh, and just one more thing before I go, guys. I do need to give a massive shout-out and a very happy birthday to my girl, Sarah. So, happy birthday, Sarah. I hope you had a fantastic day. I'm going to send you a little birthday package, so um, keep an eye on the mailbox. And, uh, rightio, we'll see you later.